Hello, my name is Kitty Kristen. Good morning, I'm Hannah Vandersall. And I'm Pamela Shaw. We work in the UCEAP system-wide office assisting students to study abroad in Europe. Our special guest today is Francesco Gagliardi, the campus outreach liaison for Accent Global Learning. UCEAP partners with Accent to design academic programs specifically for UC students. Francesco is going to tell you all about our programs in Europe. We have a lot of information packed into this 15 minute presentation, so we'll be moving quickly. The presentation is being recorded and will be available on the UCEAP website later. But feel free to take screenshots as we move along and please stick around for a brief Q&A after the presentation. So let's get um, started with um, highlighting the benefits of studying abroad through UCEAP. UCEP is the official study abroad provider for the entire UC system. Our programs are designed specifically for UC students. With programs in over 40 countries, UCEAP has the perfect study abroad program to suit your needs. While on UCEAP, you remain enrolled in your UC campus, which means you do not need to take a leave of absence during your study abroad program, and your UC financial aid goes with you. As a UCEAP student, you are guaranteed that all the courses you take abroad will receive UC credit. Welcome, Francesco. Thank you, Kitty, and thank you all of you for joining this live presentation today. Um, to learn more about the UCAP design programs in Rome, Florence, Sicily, Paris, Madrid, and London. First, let me introduce Accent Global Learning. Accent is a study abroad organization that has partnered with UCAP for 20 years. We collaborate to develop curricula, we manage the on-site housing, and we provide health and safety services in all uh, our European study centers for your study abroad experience. Today, we will start talking about the most beautiful city in the world, Rome. Obviously, I'm Italian, I'm based in Rome, and I might be a little bit biased. Rome is the capital of Italy and is located in the central region of Lazio. The city has a population of 4 million people, but during the spring and summer, we reach 6 million if we include all the visiting tourists. The city, together with Florence, is the artistic and historical hub of Italy. Rome is organized in district known as Rioni. The UCAP Study Center is located in the Rione Parione and is hosted within the beautiful Palazzo del Banco di Santo Spirito, a Baroque building that used to be the headquarters of the Vatican Bank until the 1800s. The center is a few steps away from one of Rome's most famous piazzas, Piazza Navona, and a few steps away from St. Peter's Basilica. The center offers classroom space, a UC library, and a structural kitchen where students can take cooking classes and a computer lab. There are three program options available in Rome at the moment. We will start with the communication studies in Rome fall program. As the title suggests, the main subjects covered are journalism, PR, and comm. You will get the chance to study how crisis management is handled in Italy and in the US, but you will also be offered the possibility to take classes on ancient Roman art and civilization. Through on-site lectures, you will get to learn about Rome's history inside the Forum and the Colosseum. The program also includes day trips to Italian towns such as Tivoli and Viterbo. Please note that all the classes that we will show here today are subject to change. All the final course offerings are announced prior to the start of the program. Next option is another fall program, Sociology in Rome. On this program, you will explore the image of Rome in popular culture, visiting its most famous venues, including the Vatican Museums and Galleria Borghese. The third option is a multidisciplinary winter quarter or spring semester program that offers courses covering social sciences and humanities. The classes will introduce the unique aspects of Italian media, but you will also learn how the Renaissance Pope played an important role in the development and in the growth of Rome's art and architecture. You'll do this by visiting St. Peter Basilica and Vatican City and the Vatican Museums. It is super interesting so far, right? Now that we are done with Rome, we will move to an, in another Italian city. We will move to Florence. Florence is the third most important city in Italy after Rome and Milan. It is a much smaller environment than Rome and it has a population of about 400,000 people. 
As you may already know, Florence is the cradle of the Renaissance, home to many world's famous artists, such as Michelangelo Buonarroti and Leonardo da Vinci. The UCAP Study Center in Florence is located in Piazza Santo Spirito, in a gorgeous Renaissance building named Palazzo Guadagni. The center offers classroom space, a UC library, study areas, and a computer lab. There are two program options in Florence, both available in the summer, fall semester, winter quarter, and spring semester. The first option is made in Italy. The academic focus is on communication, business, Italian study, anthropology, and environmental studies. You will get to learn from professionals in the field about the origin of the Made, Italia, Made in Italy brand, which was created in Florence in the 1950s. You will also be able to explore the significance of Tuscan cuisine and take part in a professional cooking class. The second program in Florence is Italian in Florence. This is a curriculum specifically designed to study the Italian language and get the most out of the full immersion experience in the Florentine culture. On top of different levels of Italian classes available, you will learn about the history and the significance of fashion in the country by visiting Salvatore Ferragamo headquarters and attending a leather workshop at a local artisan shop in the city. These are the core programs offered in Florence. However, if you want to study in Italy and I have not yet convinced you to choose a program, I have one more location that is considered one of the most beautiful and culturally diverse places in the Mediterranean. I'm pretty sure it is going to make you want to live there. I'm talking about Syracuse. Syracuse or Syracuse, not Syracuse, New York, is located in Sicily, the biggest of the Italian islands, also known as the boot of Italy. Sicily is considered the cultural melting pot of the country. In fact, the history of the territory has seen several different periods of domination by the Greek first, then Romans, Ottomans, and Byzantines. Syracuse is a gorgeous city on the east coast of the island. It is a very small town that hosts about 150,000 residents. The city center is an actual small island named Ortigia. Ortigia is where the UCEP Sicily Center for Field Studies is located. The building in the picture is where the center is hosted, the beautiful Palazzo Beneventano. There are currently two programs offered in Syracuse. The first one is a STEM field studies in volcanology program offered in the summer. The curriculum consists of two classes, volcanology in the Mediterranean and a capstone research project. Through in class lectures and field-based activities on the volcano Etna, you will examine the many aspects of volcanism on earth. At the same time, you will get the chance to experience the very well-known food culture of Sicily, eating an arancino, and why not a brioche with gelato. The second option is a fall semester program, Mediterranean Politics, Food, and Culture. In my opinion, it is one of the most fascinating programs available. It is a multi-city experience that will allow students to spend five weeks in Sicily, five weeks in Barcelona, and five weeks in Florence. The academic curriculum focuses on European studies, history, and communications. The program offers one umbrella course that will explore the social history of exchanges, interactions, and cultural encounters in the Mediterranean, through the lenses of history, literature, and cultural studies. This course will be taken across all three locations and different site-specific classes will also be available. This is a great opportunity to visit, the, to visit three Mediterranean cities that have made the history of Europe. Don't you find Sicily absolutely fascinating? Let's move on to the next country and the next city. We will now go to France, Paris to be precise. Everyone knows Paris. I don't need to give you much more information. It is the capital of France and famous all over the world for its art and fashion scene. It is also a business hub where there have been many successful startup companies in the last decades. The UCP Paris Study Center is located in the Bastille area, more precisely in the 11 arrondissement or district. The space offers classrooms, a library, study areas, and a computer lab. There are three programs options in Paris. The first program is a winter quarter or spring semester titled Social Justice and Activism. It explores extremely current issues in France and how they are dealt with through field trips in the Parisian neighborhoods and in-class lectures on the social history of France. The other academic areas of interest for this program are urban study, French language, film studies, and business. The program also includes an exciting three-day excursion to Normandy in the north of France. The second program available is French in Paris, which focuses on the language and the culture in France and in the city of Paris. The program is available in the summer as both a semi-intensive or intensive track and in the fall semester. 
You will also be required to take one or more elective classes, depending on the term, which will focus on different aspects of French culture, such as art, sociology, and history. The program will also offer events with local college students in order to practice your French and perhaps make new friends. The third program option in Paris is a fall semester program, Food, History, and Culture. The areas of academic interest for this program are political science, European studies, and film studies. On this program, you will be able to visit the Louvre and many other world's famous museums, as well as taking part in a French pastry class. Okay, we're through with France. Now we'll make a little trip in the Mediterranean and we will move west. We'll go to Madrid, Spain. Madrid, just like Paris and Rome, is a capital and a big city. There are 6.6 .6 million people living there. It is one of the most important, uh, historically and artistically speaking, in Europe, and it has distinguished itself for its commitment to innovation and sustainability. The UCAP Madrid Study Center is located in Chambéry neighborhood. This is a beautiful modern space located in the very heart of the Spanish capital. It offers classrooms, a library, a computer lab, and study areas. There are three programs currently offered in Madrid. The first option is Spanish in Madrid. Just like the Italy and France programs, this curriculum focuses on the Spanish language and its culture. There will be different levels of Spanish classes available, plus a number of elective classes. On this program, you will get the chance to fully immerse into the Spanish culture, both learning the language, but also through hands-on experiences, visiting venues in the city, such as the Royal Palace, Paseo del Prado, and Mercado San Miguel. Another study abroad opportunity in Madrid is a STEM summer program, Python and Data Science. This su subject-specific curriculum is designed for all the students that will need credit for introductory courses to, uh, to the Python programming language. The program also includes a day trip to Segovia and an overnight excursion to the Galicia region. The third option is contemporary Spain fall semester. The academic curriculum focuses on different topics such as immigration, gender and sexuality, and environmental studies. During your classes, you will get to explore Madrid's most popular neighborhoods, such as La Latina and Chueca, visit the Red Cross and UNICEF headquarters to learn how they support immigration. This, this was all for Spain. We can now move to our last stop in Europe, London. London is probably the most cosmopolitan city in Europe. It is home to 9 million people coming from any cultural heritage from 270 countries in the world. It is definitely Europe's economic heart. The UCAP London Study Center is located a few steps away from the British Museum in the beautiful Bedford Square. Just like all the other European centers, it offers classrooms, a library, study areas, and a computer lab. There are three programs available in London. The first option is a winter quarter or spring semester called Business and Entrepreneurship in London. It also offers the possibility to sign up for an internship for both winter and semester students. The academic areas of focus are business, economics, and management. On this program, students will learn about global entrepreneurship, international economy, and brand management through professionals who work in the city. You will have the chance to attend guest lectures and company visits at some of the most successful brands, not only in England, but worldwide, such as Bloomberg, Transport of London, and London and & Partners. The second London program option is the multi-city, global cities, urban realities that takes place in London and Paris. This option is available as a spring quarter or semester. Students can also enroll in an internship program only in the city of London. In this extraordinary multidisciplinary program in London and Paris, you will discover the history of law and the police force in London, as well as study the relationship between France and the Muslim world in Paris. Last but not least is the London's Calling Fall Quarter or Semester program. The curriculum focuses on sociology, political science, health science, and music studies. If you're a music lover and are also interested in, po in politics and healthcare, this is the right program for you. You will be able to learn the history of London music as well as visiting the Science Museum, the Museum of London, and the Chickamal and Bethlehem Museum of the Mind. These were all the UCAP design programs in Europe. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation that you have already chosen your favorite. I'm going to give the floor back to Kitty now and thank you again for joining us. Grazie, Francesco. We hope this presentation has provided you with a starting point on your study abroad journey and encourage you to explore the UCAP website for detailed information about program options, finances, health and safety, and more. You should also visit your campus study abroad office website for information on application steps and deadlines. 
Each UC campus has their own application process and deadlines, so please be sure to get in touch with your campus study abroad office for more information. Once you have determined which program you will apply to, you can start an application by selecting the Apply Now button on the UCEAP website. A valid passport is required for all study abroad programs. Processing times for passports have been delayed recently due to COVID-19. So if you need a passport or need to renew your passport, you should start that process immediately. Appointments for one-on-one -on -one advising sessions with UCEAP advisors will be available during the week of November 2nd through the 6th. Hannah has entered the link for booking an appointment into the chat. Thank you for attending this session. We will now move on to a brief Q&A. Please send